Welcome back, everybody, to the Talking Sportsbooks podcast as we continue our look back at some of the best moments in the first 50 editions of the show. First, a reminder, if you haven't caught up with the recent shows that have been published, then out now we look back at some of Formula One's legends and cult heroes with author Tony Dodgins and also author and journalist Pete Carville join me to talk about death of a boxer, which looks at a side of the sport that we don't often see covered by the mainstream media. Now, back to the present, and in this clip, the former BBC head of football, Mike Ingham, remembers his very early dealings with Brian Clough in his early days as a broadcaster when he was working for BBC Radio Derby. You built up great relationships, and this again highlights the the importance of local radio to the clubs in the local vicinity. Your relationship with Brian Clough was a type of relationship that you could probably never build up now if you were working in a similar environment. No, and there are several things about that. I think these are all just personal views. I think because of the fact that, like me, although he was older than me, Brian Clough grew up probably in a household during the war uh, where radio was um, just dominated everybody's lives. Um, He probably had a love of radio like I had a love of radio. And I think he valued radio. And that was why he always used to try and make a special effort to do radio if he could, although he turned you down nine times out of ten. And he also had this uh, love of sports report on on, on the the BBC National. So he, he... also thought he could do my job. That was the thing about, that's a scary thing about Brian Clough. He thought he, he could do my job better than I could, you know. So every time you did an interview with him, you had to, it's probably the most daunting interview you ever had to do because he'd kind of play with you a little bit, spar with you a little bit. And if he hadn't walked away after two or three questions, then he was engaged and you knew, you, you know, you were, you were into something. But the other thing about the radio in the 70s, particularly, uh, and I'm sure the Radio Nottingham people had this with Brian Clough as well, you were on your own. Though you, uh, nowadays, you would be one of, I don't know, maybe anything up to a dozen microphones, a pool, a sort of big pooled radio interview. So there was no personal contact at all with these people. Whereas in my time in the in the seventies at Radio Derby, it was just us. It was just Radio Derby, and so I was able to cultivate this um, relationship with 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 with, with Clough, and then with Dave Mackay, and then with Tommy Doherty. And it was it was obviously a, a special relationship when you left uh, Radio Derby. Your leaving party, your dad played uh, this special tape that he'd made up uh, Mm. where he went and knocked on Clough's door. Well, I listened back to the tape again uh, before I wrote the book, and it was the first time I'd heard it as well since since 1978. Uh, And my dad sadly passed away in uh, 2014. So it was a difficult listen because um, he... Right out of character, my dad was a very private man, but he put together this little tape on his cassette machine that he was going to play to family and friends at a little leaving do that he that the family threw for me before I went to London. And part of that was this was this interview with it was a real Tim. It was a real. Can you imagine a dad doing it? It was oh, a real clunk, clunk click, you know, and all that. You hear all that, all that <laughs> stuff. Um, but I had managed to. One of the reasons why I had a bit of a relationship with Brian Clough was that during the 70s in particular, even though he was at Nottingham Forest, many of the Derby County players had testimonials. Many of his players that he'd had at Derby County, like Alan Hinton and Kevin Hector and Roy McFarlane. So I would go over to the city ground and I would do an interview with Brian Clough. And so we got to know each other quite well. And um, if I'd been told in advance that my dad was going to do this with Clough, I would never have allowed it to happen. I mean, he, on a Sunday morning, marched down Clough's drive because he used to live near us you see in Corndon Brian Clough and he marched down the drive at I don't know what time it would have been maybe 11 o'clock something like that and knocked on the door you know with his little machine and Nigel actually a young tiny Nigel opened the door now 99% of people doing that would have you know would have been told where to go but Clough got the message and saw the bigger picture he saw that this was a father you know showing a love for his son and and Clough being the great family man that he was himself treasured his family invited my dad in and gave him a scotch uh, inevitably <laughs> and then recorded this little piece um for me which um and right at the end of the of, of the piece he said um something along the lines of you know if you need any help in the future um you know you have a friend at nottingham forest and i, I never really played that car when i went down to radio 2 
until I had to, until there was a moment where we, it was at Arsenal when they'd won, Forrest had won in the FA Cup, and I knew we had to get him. And he turned down television, he turned down match of the day, and I just put a message into the dressing room. Uh, would you ask Brian Clough if you do an interview with Mike Ingham? And this was the first time I'd ever sort of tested that little message he sent me. And then lo and behold, a, a finger snaked round the dressing room door <laughs> and invited me in. And I went in and he sat me down and um, he was true to his word. Great stuff from Mike Ingham talking about Brian Clough and his days at Radio Derby. And there is a lot more from that feature with Mike Kingham. It's a, a great book and we had a great conversation and you can find the full edition at the website www.talkingsportsbooks.com or by any of the streaming providers. And we have more on Clough as well, remember, with Gary Newborn, ITV's former head of sport. And he weighed in with a load of great stories about Brian Clough. And if you haven't heard it, then do go and listen. We recorded it just before Christmas. So again, it's on the website or you can stream it from any of the main streaming providers. That's it for now, though. Thanks for listening. From me, Tim Cable. Bye-bye for now.